So one question I'm asked very often is what teas should I stock in my cafe? And on the face of it, this appears to be you know, almost an impossible one to answer. How long is a piece of string? You know, there are many, many teas in the world and which, which ones should we choose? In reality, we can get, get to an answer pretty quickly. So the first question is, do you want loose leaf teas or tea bags? That really is a question about design and marketing and branding. What, what's the appearance you want? Um, what's the style of service? And what's the level of investment you're prepared to make in training and procedures if you want to serve loose leaf tea? So loose leaf tea versus tea bags. Second, how many teas do you want in your range? Again, this determines the type of cafe that you're going to have. If I ask you about a cafe that has one type of tea or two types of tea, or a cafe that has six teas, or a cafe that has a hundred teas, you will immediately have an idea in your mind of what those, biz those three different businesses look like. As a rule, I would suggest no more than six. If you're just starting out, choose no more than six teas. Now, the reason I say pick a number is because it starts to, it gives, it gives you a way into the problem. As soon as you know that you're going to choose six teas, you know that one of them is going to be a standard breakfast tea. You know you're going to need something that is decaffeinated or caffeine free. You're going to need something that's green, something that's herbal, something that's a bit different, so an afternoon tea or a flavoured tea. Well, that's five straight away. So the, the question becomes quite simple. It's not a good idea to choose a crazy range of teas that nobody's ever heard of. You know, your, your customers don't frankly come for tea. They come to meet their friends and have um, a social experience. The tea is an adjunct to that. So generally speaking, they're gonna choose the same ones. So here, for what it's worth, is a list of six teas. One, the local blend. So down here, it would be Portsmouth. Where you are, it might, it's gonna be something else, obviously. But that's the standard everyday tea. Number two. Um, Earl Grey, okay, so that's an afternoon tea and it's flavoured. Number three, peppermint, that gives you a herbal tea and it's the most popular herbal tea and lots of people um, want to have something that freshens them up. A green tea, now because we've already got peppermint, there's no point in going for Moroccan mint because then you'd have two minty ones. So a standard green tea, such as our gunpowder tea. Um, next is red berries, so that is a natural fruit infusion, which is really, really popular, and that is always the most popular of the fruit infusions. So red berry burst. Finally, you've got a choice, either chamomile and lavender, which is an absolutely fantastic um, herbal blend that's very sooth soothing and carving and relaxing, chamomile and lavender, or decaffeinated tea. That range of six is good for the vast majority of cafes. And generally speaking, you should not stock more than that to begin with. Time and time again, I see um, cafes, especially when they're first starting, wanting 20, 30 teas, most of which they, they don't sell. You will make a rod for your own back. As soon as you've started and you've launched your new menu, you can start adding products if you want to. But nine times out of ten, people don't. Um, if you do want to add products, the way we would suggest it is by means of a special tea, so a tea of the month or whatever. Uh, if it's popular, add it to the range. I wouldn't suggest, however, that you do it as a tea of the month. Um, I would just suggest you do it as a special that is in stock until it's finished. Otherwise, again, you make a rod for your own back. So there we are. In summary, pick a number, pick whether you want loose leaf teas or tea bags, and then you will suddenly find this whole complex, perplexing question just falls in, into place in your laps and becomes very straightforward. As always, any questions, you're very welcome to give me a call. Um, 02392 750122. Email me, put a question in the comments. I'm always, always happy to talk uh, and give any advice and help wherever I can. So thanks for watching.